Students, this is the third class of antineoplastic agents. Already in two classes, we have seen alkylating agents, and in the second class, we have seen introduction about antimetabolites. So, we will see the first drug under antimetabolites that is 6 mercaptopurine, that is otherwise called as 6 MP. So, from the name itself, we can say it is having a purine nucleus and that is having mercaptan, mercapto group that is attached in the sixth position of purine. So, this is the structure of purine that is the fusion of two heterocyclic rings. One is the pyrimidine ring. This ring is no, uh, this is called as pyrimidine ring and this ring is called as imidazole ring. So, what is meant by pyrimidine? Heterocyclic ring having two nitrogens, six member heterocyclic ring having two nitrogens at 1, 3, no, that can be called as pyrimidine and five member heterocyclic ring having two nitrogens at 1, 3, that can be called as imidazole. So, the fusion of these two, no, that can be called as purine. So, here in sixth position it is having thiol, that is why it is called as purine 6 thiol that is used in the treatment of acute lymphocytic leukemia and myelomonocytic leukemia. Now, we will see the synthesis of 6 mercaptopurine. For this, the starting material is hypoxanthin. Already we have known what is meant by purine, fusion of pyrimidine with imidazole that can be called as purine and that one is having hydroxy group in 6th position that can be called as hypoxanthin. So, what is hypoxanthin? 6 hydroxy purine that can be called as hypoxanthin. So, that is taken as a starting material and that one is added with POCl3 that is phosphoryl chloride or phosphorus oxychloride and also in the presence of pyridine. So, this one undergoes chlorination. So, hydroxy group no that would be replaced by means of Cl. Now, that one on reaction with NaScN that is sodium thiocyanate. On the addition of uh, the sodium thiocyanate what happens Na combines with Cl that is removed as NaCl that is why SCN is added in the place of Cl that is why we got that. Then on hydrolysis what you are getting this would be hydrolyzed. CN would be hydrolyzed and that would be going. So, here we have only SH. So, that is called as 6 mercaptopurine. So, how we are getting that? We have taken hypoxanthin. So, what is hypoxanthin? 6 hydroxypurine that can be called as hypoxanthin that is treated with POCl3 and also pyridine. We are getting chloro derivative and that one on treatment with NaScN that is sodium thiocyanate, we are getting SCN derivative. On hydrolysis, we are getting 6 mercaptopurine. Now, we will see the mechanism of action of 6 mercaptopurine. This 6 mercaptopurine is a purine antimetabolite. So, the drug is converted into its corresponding ribonucleotide called 6 thioinosinate by means of the enzyme called HGPRT. So, what is meant by HGPRT? Hypoxanthin guanine phosphoribosyl transferase. So, how we are getting 6 thioinosinate? By means of HGPRT, the 6 mercaptopurine is converted into its corresponding ribonucleotide called 6 thioinosinate. This 6 thioinosinate is an inhibitor in the conversion of 5 phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate into 5 phosphoribosyl amine and also inosinic acid into adenylic acid conversion and also oxidation of inosinic acid into xanthinic acid. So, these three processes know that would be inhibited by 6 thioinosinate. What is the role of these three? So, that one is responsible for purine biosynthesis. So, what is the overall reaction? And the 6 MP know that is inhibiting the de novo synthesis of purines. So, that is the mechanism of action of 6 mercaptopurine. So, what is that? Once again, I will summarize. So, what is that? 6 mercaptopurine that would be converted into corresponding ribonucleotide by means of ribonucleotide called 6 thioinosinate by means of hypoxanthin guanine phosphoribosyl transferase. And that one is inhibiting these three conversions. So, what are the three conversions? 5 phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate into 5 phosphoribosyl amine. And inosinic acid is converted into adenylic acid. Then inosinic acid is oxidized to xanthinic acid. So, these three conversions you know they are responsible for purine biosynthesis. So, by inhibiting these three conversions, what happens? This purine biosynthesis will be inhibited. Next drug is called as 6 thioguanin or thioguanin. So, this is the structure of 
thio, six thio guanine. Already we have known the structure of guanine in antiviral agents. So what is that? That is having two rings. That is it is having a purine nucleus. That is having pyrimidin and dimidazole. And here in second position it is having NH2. And uh, sixth position it is having hydroxy group. So that is the structure of guanine. So what is thio guanine? That hydroxy group no that is replaced by means of SH. So that is called a six thio guanine. So what is the chemical in numbering would be starts from here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that is the numbering. So here in second portion it is having amino group and here in sixth portion it is having SH that is why 2 amino pure in purine 6 thiol so that is the chemical name. So what is the difference between 6 mercaptopurine with the 6 thioguanin? Same, but here in second portion it is having extra amino group for thioguanin. That one is not having that amino group. Tell me the difference between guanin and thioguanin. Guanin is having hydroxy group in sixth portion, whereas six thioguanin is having SH group in sixth portion. It is used in the treatment of acute leukemia in combination with cytorabin. Now we will see the mechanism of action of 6 thioguanin. This 6 thioguanin is ribosylated into 6 TGMP that is 6 thioguanin monophosphate. Then by means of the enzyme HGPRT. So what is HGPRT? Hypoxanthin guanin phosphoribosyl transferase into 6 thioguanin diphosphate and 6 thioguanin triphosphate. These inhibit number of reactions in the DNA and the RNA synthesis. So that is the mechanism of action of 6 thioguanin. Next drug is called as azathioprine. So this is a structure of azathioprine. So it is having what is that purine nucleus, purine and here in the 6th portion it is having sulphur that sulphur is attached with one more heterocyclic ring. So what is the heterocyclic ring present here that is called as imidazole. So this is the first portion one according to imidazole this is one. So 2, 3, 4, 5. So here first portion of imidazole is having methyl and the fourth portion is having NO2 group, nitro group and the fifth portion is connected with the sulphur or sulphur that is attached in the sixth position of purine. So that is the structure of azathioprine. So from the name itself we can say print means that is having purine, purine and it is having sulphur, thio, thio no, it is having sulphur and aza that represents that imidazole nucleus. Now come to the nomenclature. So here what would be the parent here that is called purine. For, what is the numbering for purine? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So in 8th position we have sulphur. With the sulphur only this would be attached. The imidazole would be attached. And imidazole is having methyl in first position, nitro group in fourth position and fifth position of imidazole is connected with the sulphur. That is why the whole thing is attached to the sixth position of purino. That is why 6 open bracket 1 methyl. This is 1 methyl 4 nitro 4 nitro 1H. If methyl is not there, there may be hydrogen. That is why 1H imidazole 5YL, fifth portion is connected with it, that is why 5YL close bracket this thio and thio 1H purine or we can write purine. So that is the chemical name of azathioprine that is used in the treatment of acute leukemia in combination with citrabin. Now we will see the mechanism of action of azathioprine. Asa thioprin, no, that is the heterocyclic derivative of 6 mercaptopurin and it is a pro drug. So, that is first converted into 6 mercaptopurin. Then, same mechanism as that of 6 MP, that is by means of hypoxanthin guanin phosphoribosyl transferase, it would be converted into its corresponding ribonucleotide called 6 thioinosinate. That one is inhibiting 3 processes that are responsible for purine biosynthesis. What are the processes? Conversion of 5 phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate into 5 phosphoribosylamine. Conversion of inosinic acid into adenylic acid and oxidation of inosinic acid into xanthinic acid. So, what is the role of these three reactions? They are responsible for purine biosynthesis. So, these uh, purine biosynthesis no, that would be inhibited by means of 6 thioinosinase. So, that is the mechanism of action of 
அசாத் தயோப்ரின்